So have I showed you my belt buckle? Good morning, Ninos. Hey, today we've got a little project. We're going to the church and they call it a work bee. And I think it's more fun if it's called a work bee. I think I might call my daily job a work bee. They call it spring cleanup. So it's, they call it what it is. We're gonna go work. So that's what our day's looking like today. Every good day starts out with a fine, healthy breakfast. Mom, is this healthy for us? Muffins, eggs? Well, it's got its pros and cons. Hey, bye, family. I love you guys. Love you. Here he is at the work bee. Being workers, here we go. Work. Going to work at the church. absolutely mulched the junk out of this place. It was awesome. So, have I showed you my belt buckle? Okay, this is just gonna be a short little review of the SOG SYNC 2. It's a cool little multi-tool. Okay, so SOG has come up with this little gem. It's the SOG SYNC 2. It's a multi-tool belt buckle, basically. You can run it in a belt buckle configuration, or it has this clip on the back that uh, you can clip it onto Molly or a backpack. If you're running it in this configuration, you take this belt buckle piece off. But I run it like a belt buckle. The basic gist in any configuration, if you're running it as a belt buckle, or you're running it with the clip on a pack, is this comes off of this base plate, and that stays on your belt, so your pants stay up. And then there's your multi-tool. Open this bad boy up. You got your basic pliers. You got wire cutters. You have crimpers. It comes with a knife, which is, is decently sharp for a multi-tool knife. It, it does a, a fair job. I'm not like, woohoo, ecstatic on, on what it does, but compared to some multi-tools, I would say it's a decent blade. Yeah. On the same side, you have a, a, a file, coarse and fine, along with a mini flathead screwdriver, which is the tool you use on the base plate to get these screws off here, take this plate on and off, and it works for the belt loop attachment as well. And finally, is a bottle opener and large regular head screwdriver. On the other side, we have a pair of scissors and a Phillips head screwdriver. And another bottle opener. In this kind of configuration, you have a tape measure to seven inches. We, uh, we kind of skip the, the the, between the three and four. So you're gonna have a hard time getting half inch increments in this area. All in all, it's nice and on as far as its uh, measurements go. Now, I gotta say, this thing is handy to have on you all the time. I usually carry a multi-tool, but I have it in my tack sack, AKA tactical satchel, AKA man purse. It's right here. That's a kick butt man purse kick butt. Anyways, Leatherman Wave. I always have this. I always have this with me. This has everything that I need if I'm out and about. But usually it sits in the truck. If I'm in a situation where I need a pair of pliers, 
I have to go, hey, I have players, but let me go to my truck and get them. But now, it's, it's on my belt buckle. It's right there. Okay, drawbacks. The only drawbacks I have with this tool so far, and I've been carrying it for two weeks, so I have, I have more to, to find out about it, but the only drawbacks I have is when I unbuckle my belt buckle, it's a chunk of steel, and it takes your belt down. It doesn't physically come out of the loops, but as you're taking your pants down, it pulls them down. And if you're in a public bathroom, it's the first thing to hit the floor. And so you gotta take note of that and like grab it and tuck it up into your pants so your multi-tool isn't laying in a public bathroom floor, which is disgusting. When it's on my body and my belt buckle's buckled, I don't even know it's there. Drawback number two is when one of my little girls comes and sits on my lap and they sit a little too high and they grab my belly fat, it shoves my belly fat down into that buckle and it hurts. That's, that's drawback number two. If you're a skinny guy, you don't have to worry about that. I got a little mass, so what it is. I've also heard complaints about um, the bottle opener, that it's hard to use. I haven't had any bottles lately that I needed to open. I would definitely pull out this multi-tool to test it out if and when I get a bottle I need to open. So for right now, um, those two drawbacks is all I have for this tool. I still have a lot of, of testing to do with it. Um, like I said, I've only had it for a couple weeks. But so far, I'm thoroughly impressed. And that's my little review on the SOG SYNC 2 belt buckle multi-tool. That's about all I got.